Hi guys, I'm Ricky and welcome to Comfy Compositing. Stop wasting hours on frame by frame paint out. Today I'm showing you the only comfy workflow you need to generate professional stable clean plates automatically. I call it smart AI paint out workflow. This isn't just object removal. This is a single robust system designed to perfectly erase actors, boom mics, gears, and shadows. Anything you name from your video. It generates a high quality stable clean plate that looks like new paint out work and not AI mush. As always, this space is moving fast. This workflow is based on the cutting edge combination of one 2.1 vase model, Quen V3L for auto prompt generation, Florence 2 and Sam 2 for masking and segmentation. This configuration is tested and stable and it works reliably today. So let's dive in. So this is the paint out workflow. Let's go over step one. I have mentioned all the models and the links. Please place them in the mentioned folders here. Um, first one is one 2.1 ways. I am using 14B, but you can use 1.4B if you have lower VRAM. And then I am using UMT5 XXL FP8 clip for text and code. And I'm using a Cosweb LoRa for eight step generation. This will speed up the render time uh, quite a bit. And then the last is the VAE model. I'm using one 2.1 VAE model. So let's look at our project. So I have this footage of a fish in an aquarium here. We can see the complexity. There are caustics, there are some sun rays, there are particles floating, and the fish is moving quite a bit. And our task is to remove the fish as if it was never there. So the first part of step two is loading in the reference frame. We need to upload a clean reference frame here with the subject remove. So using flux two, I have uh, removed the fish on a single frame. And you can use Quen image edit or you can uh, use the flux contest co context and it should be very easy to do that and then next one is we upload the video of our fish as you can see i have uploaded the reference frame without the fish and the video moving on to step three is auto prompt generation and refining the prompt only if needed. So I have Quen 3 over here. Um, this is a vision language model. So this is going to look at our reference frame and give us the prompt so that we can feed in for our one ways model. So I have given a very basic prompt. Describe this image as if it's a five second video. And then uh, this was for a previous video that I was testing. So I'm gonna change this over here and just remove it and see what we get. So we select the preview any node and queue it. So we got a very uh, detailed prompt. So we quickly check it out that it doesn't mention fish because that is what we don't want. Yeah, it looks good. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it here. And then I'm going to leave the negative prompts as it is. Uh, but one quick tip, if you're still seeing a fish or uh, your subject, you can add it over here to further refine it and tell it that you don't want to see that object. And then next is our segmentation and masking setup. So over here, we need to segment a fish. So we type in fish. And then we come in here to our point editor to make the mask of our fish. So we're gonna hit new canvas. And to 
load this, you just have to quickly queue this. And then we have our clip loaded here. So first thing is we hold shift and left click to add some green points and we'll move all of them inside. And then holding shift and right click, we add some red points. So green is to mask and red is to not mask those areas. So once we are done, we go here and then we queue this to check our mask is completely covering the fish. You should see a black on top of where the fish is. So as you can see, the black area has covered the fish fully. That means our mask is working. Um, so we'll move on to the next subject and um, everything is looking good. You should keep all of these settings default and you just hit Q to our final output. So here we have it. The fish is completely gone. The details are still very good and the god rays or the sun rays are moving pretty much the same. The caustics and the particles, everything looks great. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. And this one was with the first queue. I did not have to refine or change the seed or anything. So yeah, I think it's pretty um, stable and doesn't give a lot of errors or anything. And I'm happy with the workflow. So please try this out and let me know uh, what kind of work were you able to do. Thank you.